Hey guys, today we'll be talking about unsaturated fatty acids and how to draw their structures and name them. So unsaturated implies that there is at least one double bond. So saturated fatty acids, no double bonds. Unsaturated, unsaturated means they have at least one double bond. So in this example I have drawn here, you can see there is one double bond right where my pen is pointing. So that's what makes saturated different from unsaturated fatty acids, the presence of double bonds. Now, naming unsaturated fatty acids begins by following the same steps. So step one, count your carbons. Oops. So let's start here. One, two, three, four, All right, I got 18 carbons, so let's just put it over here. Step two is still the same, so count your double bonds. So this will be the first example where we do have a double bond, right? We have one double bond. So again, just using that sort of numerical way to identify fatty acids, it would look like this, 18, one. Now we have some extra steps in naming if you have an unsaturated fatty acid. So at the double bond, you need to figure out if the double bond is cis or trans. So what I mean, what I usually, what I look at is which way are the hydrogens pointing? So in this example, we could draw the double bond, just the part we're looking at. So obviously the chain would keep going, but let's just look at this little segment. This segment, is this segment right here, okay? But now imagine where the hydrogens are. So in this example, we would have a hydrogen coming out this side and a hydrogen coming out this side. When the hydrogens are on the same side, we call this cis. Now you might be wondering what would the trans version look like? So let's draw the same thing. Here's a double bond, oops. For trans, we have to do it differently. So for trans, it would be like this, a double bond is right here. So in this scenario, we would have one hydrogen here and the other hydrogen is actually coming out the other side. So this is what the trans looks like, right? There's one hydrogen on the right side, one hydrogen coming out on the left side. But what we have in this example is, is cis, so we'll determine that. Step four. So when we are naming unsaturated fatty acids, because they can have one or more double bonds, you have to remember to add, um, you would add di if there's two double bonds, tri if there's three double bonds, etc. Because we only have one in this example, that really doesn't affect the naming yet. And the last step is actually the location of the double bonds. And this is where things get a little tricky because there are two systems that both name the location of the double bond and the two systems are kind of opposite of each other. So we're gonna work through both systems, but you have to kind of keep them separate, but they're both ways you would see unsaturated fatty acids being named. So the first system let's start with is called the IUPAC system. Now, when using this way to name fatty acids, you will often see the symbol, uh, this triangle symbol. So you would use this with IUPAC. And what you have to remember for this system is you start counting the carbons from this carboxylic acid end. So count carbons from acid end, which is actually how I've been showing you to count. We start with one here one at the carboxylic acid, one for carbon one, two, three, and then we go all the way down to this methyl end. So the how I've numbered it already is following the IUPAC system. Now, what you need to look at is where, what carbon location does the double bond start at? And in this example, it starts at carbon nine. And how we usually represent that is this triangle nine. In the IUPAC system, that tells us the double bond starts at carbon nine 
if you're counting, counting carbons from this carboxylic acid end. So if we want to represent this carboxylic, or sorry, this fatty acid using just this sort of numerical short, shorthand, what it becomes is we already know it's 18, 1, but to represent where that double bond is occurring, that location, after the 1, we put the triangle 9, because this tells us it's 18 carbons, there is one double bond, and it's at carbon 9, okay? Now, like I said, there is a second system, and that second system usually goes by just omega, the omega system. And if you're naming a fatty acid using this system, you're going to see this symbol as the omega symbol, or some people will just use the letter N. Now, the omega system is different than the one we just went over, because in this system, you start counting carbons at the methyl end. So if we number this uh, fatty acid using omega system, where we start is actually carbon one is right here, right? So let's number this using the omega system. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so the pink is the omega system, which means we still know we have 18 carbons, one double bond, I'll use the omega symbol. And the funny thing is, in this example, even though we started counting from this end, from the methyl end, it's still actually at the carbon nine. So even when we use the omega system just in this example, it happens to be the carbon nine again. So often these two will actually differ in the carbon number. It just so happens with this fatty acid, it's nine here and nine in the IUPAC system. You could also, so if you wanted to use the letter N, you might see this. These are the same thing. All right, now when doing the sort of long formal name of the, ke the chemical structure name, we follow the IUPAC system. So for a saturated fatty acid, for this one here, how you have to start with naming now, since it's a bit more complicated, is you say whether the double bond is cis or trans. So it's cis in this case. You put a little dash and then the location of the double bond, which is nine. Then you put another dash and we add how long the hydrocarbon chain is. And remember, this is 18 carbons. So octa, dec. So if it was just an 18 carbon hydrocarbon, it would be octa, decane. But when you have unsaturated fatty acids, you change the naming. You would do minus the E, but actually for unsaturated, you add enoic. So you abtract this final E, but actually we're not going to end it in anoic anymore like the saturated ones we add it in enoic so just take those off too because we're going to have octa des e noic so this e here shows that it's an unsaturated fatty acid compared to the saturated version that had 18 carbons would be octa dec anoic so this E means we have an unsaturated fatty acid. Let's convert that down here. And this is the formal name of the fatty acid above it, cis-9-octadecanoic acid. We know the double bond is at the location of the carbon-9, and it is in the cis formation. This shows it's 18 carbons, right? All right, now let's try a example that's a little more difficult. So I have this fatty acid, unsaturated fatty acid drawn out here. And let's begin naming it. Let's start with the IUPAC system again. Now remember this system, we want to count starting at the carboxylic acid end. So carbon one right there, two, three, four, five. 
All right, I got 20 carbons. Hopefully you did two. So I'll put 20 for the 20 carbons, two dots. Now you might remember the second step. So the first step was count your carbons. The second step is count your double bonds. So let's see, we have a lot of them here. We have one, two, three, four, five. So this would become 20 and then five for our five double bonds. Now remember, because this is an unsaturated fatty acid, we have to decide are these double bonds cis or trans or a mixture of the two. Now we are a little lucky here because each is actually in the cis formation. Um, if you have trouble sort of seeing this, draw in where your hydrogens would come out, right? So the hydrogens are coming out the same side, which means it's cis. Cis is same. And actually, all of these are cis. You can draw in all the hydrogens if that's helpful to you. So we determined it's, uh, they're all cis. That's good. Step four. When you have more than one double bond, in the formal name, you'll have to put di if there's two double bonds, tri for three, tetra four, penta five. So that's if you write out the full chemical name. Step five, the last step, is determine the location of the double bonds. So what I mean by location is the carbon at which the double bonds start at. So let's look back at our fatty acid. So we have five double bonds. The first one starts at carbon five. So remember in the IUPAC system, you use this triangle symbol. So how we would represent this is actually change in five for our first double bond is starting at carbon five. Our second one is starting at carbon eight. Keep doing this. We have carbon 11, carbon 14, carbon 17. So what you do is to represent this numerically, you can just add this to our 20 carbons colon five double bonds, then the location. But look, these actually follow a pattern. So five plus three is eight. Eight plus three is 11. 11 plus three is 14. 14 plus three is 17. And that's because double bonds follow something called the pentadiene system, system, which means they follow a special pattern. So if we wanna write this out, all we have to write is we have 20 carbons, five double bonds, and the first double bond starts at carbon five. Because if we know where the first one starts, we just add three to get to the location of the next double bond. And we know there are five double bonds starting at carbon five, so we actually know all of these locations. So you typically write it shorthand like this. Now let's move on to the second system and do how we would represent it using the omega system numerically like this, because you're gonna see it is a little different. So remember in the omega system, you use the symbol omega or N. Now, the big difference is that in the omega system, you start counting from the methyl end. You start counting from this end. So let's number our fatty acid following the omega system. So the carbon one is right there. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so again, we have 20 carbons, which is good. Our molecule didn't change. So we'll write 20 semicolon. So we have five double bonds still. But look at this. The, the carbon, the first double bond starts at is three now. Remember, this is in blue. So we would put our omega symbol, 
3. Where's the next carbon start? It starts at carbon 6. Carbon 9, right? Just keep going. 12 and then carbon 15. And again, you see the same pattern. If we know the first double bond starts at carbon 3, we add 3. The next one starts at 6. Add 3, 9, 12, 15. So all we actually need to write is 25 omega 3. And this gives us all the necessary information to draw this molecule. Now let's go back and write the formal name using the IUPAC system. So this is going to be a very long name. Now most of the information we already have here, we've already gone through all the steps. We just need to put it together. So what you would do to write the name for this chemical structure is you need to specify where each double bond is and whether it's cis or trans. So we'll begin with cis dash, and remember we're using the IUPAC system, so the first one is at carbon five, cis five dash cis eight dash cis 11 dash cis 14 oops, dash cis 17. Okay, we got the first part taken care of. Now we need to say how many carbons we have. Now we have 20, so I know this, you might not have this memorized from chemistry, but it would be icosa for 20 carbons. At this point, you have to remember to insert how many double bonds there are here. So if you had two double bonds, you would put di right here. But we have five, so we will actually pick penta. So icosa, penta. All right, so this first part is 20 carbons. Penta is our five double bonds. Now, when you have unsaturated fatty acids, it ends in enoic. So this E is really important. If you remember when we were doing saturated fatty acids, when there are no double bonds, the ending we were adding was anoic. So these are just slightly different, but have a big meaning because this E means it's unsaturated. So then we add our enoic. Again, this E is really important. Acid. So cis5, cis8, cis11, cis14, cis17, icosa means 20, penta is 5, enoic is just a way to say it is unsaturated, acid. That's the full formal name for this right here.